what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this eye look i just did the eyes i didn't do my face but if you guys want to know how i achieve this look then just keep watching so i'm just setting it with a white powder i always do this just because i feel like it makes all my other colors blend better now i'm going to grab a sigma brush like that and I'm gonna go in, oh by the way, we're using the Lark Pro Palette, Mega Pro Palette 2. And I'm going to go into Melon right here. And this is gonna be our transition color. And then that's just gonna go into our crease. And I'm doing it a little bit higher than my usual crease. So after that color, I'm just gonna grab a fluffier brush and blend everything. So there's no harsh lines. And I'm gonna go in with a MAC 217. It just looks like that. It's a more dense brush. And I'm gonna go in to Tangerine. And now that color is going to go underneath of the crease color. And I'm just gonna blend it onto my crease. And this is just adding more definition. And I'm going to add some on the outer corner too. So you should have something like this. And then we're going to blend it again with our clean fluffy brush. Now we're going to cut the crease with some concealer. Now that we have the crease with the concealer, I'm going to go into this pink color sorbet. And we're going to use that to set our concealer. I'm also going to add some white so it doesn't look too purple. I didn't want it to be just straight up white. I'm going to go back in with a tangerine and this small fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to add that to the middle to have the half cut crease blend a little bit better i cleaned up the edge but i'm going to go in with a darker brown and this i'm just going to put it on the outer v rather than it just being oranges this will add more definition more depth and all that and i'm just grabbing a little bit and i'm not putting it all the way to the middle because i still want that orange to be there i'm gonna go back with the orange again and just Put these two colors together, the brown and orange. I'm going to grab the fluffy clean brush that we've been blending with and just blend the sides. And now I'm just going to add some white to my brow bone. So this is what you should have, a half cut crease, but it's very subtle. And then I'm going to go in with Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy and add this to my brow bone just like that. For the lower lash line, we're basically going to do what we did to the top. We're going to add melon, which was the light orange color. And we're just going to add it like this. And this will be our transition for the bottom. I'm going to use tangerine again. And this just adds more orange. And you could leave it like this if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the brown we used for the crease. And I'm just going to add it to the end. And I'm just going to grab a clean brush and just blend everything. For the inner corner, we're going to add the same highlight we added to our brow bone, which is Midnight Cowboy. It's super pretty and it's like very subtle. So... I go ahead and put on some mascara and I'll be back. So this is the final look. The eyes should look like this. You could add some liner, but I personally like how it looks without the eyeliner. I just feel like the lashes make it pop and just, just look way better. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys like the videos better of me just doing my eyes or if you guys want the full face. I'm thinking of doing a first impressions for my next video. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell at the bottom so you're notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.